Salut! Bon matin! À tous les gens de Quintapoint, qu'est-ce qu'il y a? Je suis bien. Donc, euh, nous avons le petit mouse. I don't know how to say mouse in French. Raton. Je ne sais pas. Uh, anyhow, good morning, quilt people. <laughs> We're here with my favorite uh, French Canadian uh, mouse, right? He's holding the French bread. Thus, you can see he is, he's French Canadian. <laughs> he just is. Shut up. Because <laughs> I said so. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, yeah, so we're doing French knots today, so I thought I'd start us off with a little uh, French hello. Uh, anyhow, I am super excited about this uh, to kind of take you a step further from the wool ornaments pattern, which I posted on my website for free, also available these sick trucker hats. <laughs> if you too want to be a quilting cowboy, now you can. All right, so these little ornaments, right? Super cute. Uh, what they really need though, what really sets them apart uh, partly is uh, like all of this French knot, these French knot works, uh, right? Like you get here, right? These little tiny like flowers, little roses, super cute. You probably see it better on this one. Right? So the detail work of the stitching around the actual ornament and then adding these little flower, uh, details makes it super cute so uh, we're all about super cute so we're going to learn how to do french knots in case you haven't uh, learned that before and then i mean just using you know regular uh what's this called i don't know um applique thread i don't know <laughs> what the hell is this called <laughs> anyways i just buy it <laughs> um but yeah you know they come like this, right? These little balls of massive thread that you use with a big needle, with a big eye, like this, right? See that? Uh, so I just use that. And well, sometimes I'll go around the perimeter of the little guy, right? Uh, with the machine, it's really the handwork that takes it from uh, mediocre to super cute and special. Okay, so let's look at how we do uh, French knots and then we'll just do a little bit of general um, stitching. In. Okay, let's look at that. Okay, I wanna show you just a couple of the ways that I use this that I think are pretty cute. All right, so doing this type of detail work with a French knot in the middle and then three little you know, green uh, kind of leaves, I guess it would be, is a really fun way to go. So let's say that I want to put one of those guys right here up in, in the upper corner. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I mean, as you can imagine, it's not too complicated, just through, all right, once, and then come back over here, and just find what kind of feels right as far as the way the leaves would naturally go. I generally do not connect them, so they're just kind of, I don't know, almost like bursts coming off the the rows, but just like that, one, two, three, bam, 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 easy. And then we're just gonna put a French knot right there to kind of connect the leaves. Ooh, my pom-pom is rolling off. Okay, just knot that on the back. The three leaves are there, and then I'm just gonna change it out to the red thread, and then we'll do the actual French knot. Okay, here we go with the actual French knot. So, what you do is you just stick your needle through to the point where you find about where it feels good uh, for you in the work. Pull it up, there's gonna be a knot on the back that's gonna hold it, all right? And then, what we're gonna do is essentially take our needle, all right? And we're going to loop it through the thread once and then pick it up again a second time, right? Now I have it wrapped around the needle twice here, as you can see right here, right? That's wrapped around twice. So what I'm gonna do now is pull this out of the way, right? Let's pull this top one out of the way so that I can take the needle and put it back down really close to where it came out, right? So there it is, it's wrapped around twice, as you can see here. Now this is the trick, okay? The trick is to pull the wrapped around thread 
around the needle back down, right? Back down to the work. Okay, so I still have the needle through. It's wrapped around twice, only the, the twice that's been wrapped around has now been pulled down to the work, right? Pull it down to the work with this thread. And then when you pull it through, right? Pull it through, sorry, I don't normally do it from this side. Push through, there we go. All right, then when you pull it through, right? The, the knot is on the work, right? Not somewhere up here on the string. The knot is down here, and then you just slowly pull it through, and there you go. French knot. Okay, let's try it a couple more times. Okay. All right, so now that you have it through, right? Just wrap the thread around the needle once, and then again twice. So it's wrapped around there twice, right? And then stick the needle back down while pulling on this top thread, right? Back down to where you want it, basically where it came out of the first time. Okay, so it's wrapped twice around the needle, and then you have this, which you pull it down onto the work, right? And then you push the needle through, making sure again that that needle is there, and then you just pull it through, and that's it. So as you can see, the French knots really add just a really cute and charming detail to the work. So you should be able to do that um, now on all of these fun ornaments. So again, download the pattern. It's on my website, quiltingcowboy.com. Just go to the shop tab and you can download it there for free. Anyhow, that's a really fun way and easy way to kind of kick up the um, handwork in your felt and wool ornaments. I hope that you enjoy it. Like I said, if you want to head over to quiltingcowboy.com, just hit on that shop tab. You can find this pattern for free as well as others and a bunch of other patterns that I published and I hope that you enjoy those. Um, some of them are great quilt patterns, if I do say so myself. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Yay me. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, you can also find cool swag like this hat, uh, my book, which is just kind of a uh, uh, lookbook of my work uh, type of things, things that I find uh, inspiring and things like that. So if you enjoy that, that's available as well. So that's about where we are. Um, it was just a quick little tutorial today. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, let me know if you use it in your work. Always send me pictures. I love that. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye.